Officer Buell? It's Hank. Hank Stamper. Listen, I caught myself a couple of fugitives you might be interested in. Oh, they ain't going anywhere. Don't you worry. Okay, fine. Thank you. What the fuck? Where am I? Oh shit. Daniel. No, no, no. Don't do this to me. Police will get those two straightened out. Are you sure about this, Hank? I don't know. And they'll be off our property and won't be our problem no more. If you say so, then. Well, I'll let you deal with it. Oh. Hey there. You finally awake? Sorry I had to secure you, but if you're innocent, don't act guilty. How's your stomach? I'm gonna tell the police you kidnapped me! Nice try, but I know who you are and what you did in Seattle. I saw it in the paper. Maybe I should call ICE to make sure you're a citizen. Fuck you, hillbilly. I'm American. Mm. <sighs> Watch it. Punk. Whatever. You're going to jail for this. Pretty sure the local police will vouch for me over a thug like you. Where's my brother? Wish I knew. Little shit took off. I'll find him. Don't worry. If you touch him... You think I'd hurt a little boy? Guess you didn't have any second thoughts about leading him out into the middle of nowhere, though. That's real safe for a little kid. If he's lucky, he won't end up like his criminal big brother. Just let me go! Please! You're the reason we need to build that wall. You hold tight. I'm gonna go get your brother. Come on. It's only plastic. what I thought. Fuck. Yes. That's a little better. I'm sorry, but you married an asshole. Chased me into the woods, but I, I think I lost him. Is he gone? I'm really, really scared. <laughs> hey, Inano, you're doing great. You totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. Of course, the fucking keys are all the way over there. Okay, Daniel, I see some keys, but I can't reach them. Maybe I can get them if I can pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? I don't know where one is. Find me something sturdy, like a, a screwdriver or a wrench, anything. But where can I find one? Inano, I can't really see much from where I am. There should be some tools nearby. Okay, okay, I'm looking. This is it! You rule, Daniel! Come on. Let's do this. Yes! Good job, bro. What 
happened to your face? That old bastard happened. Okay. We need to cut this off. Fast. How about these? Dude, you rock. Did that asshole see you? No way. I'm invisible. Yeah, you are. Okay. Now we gotta get my stuff and go. What happened? What? What did you do? I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's okay. You're safe now. You fucking little spick. You and your brother are going to jail for the rest of your life. The hell with you. I told you to leave us alone. Sean! What are you doing? Daniel, come on. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Come on. Wait. Shit. Where are we going? Sean. Watch out. Over there. L let's go. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing out here, man? You almost scared the shit out of me. You guys okay? Uh, look okay. That asshole. At the gas station. You're fucking crazy. He tied me up in his back office. I swear. Dude, say no more. I believe you, okay? Crazy out in the woods. Get in, you too. Hurry up before he catches us. having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. Did he mess with you too? He started to earlier, but I bought too much stuff just to piss him off. Welcome to Redneck Land. This ain't Seattle no more. Yeah. My dad said there are more Bigfoots out here than Mexicans. No doubt. People out here I'm more scared of you and your little brother. This is nuts. Well, don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <coughs> What's under the blanket? Come on, I'm not stupid. Yeah, guess we are. <laughs> so, what should her name be? Hey, your dog, your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Um, mm, how about uh, mushroom? She totally looks like a mushroom. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not much of a girl's name, though. <laughs> Who cares? I'm sure she loves it. Oh. So do I. <laughs> All right. Mushroom it is then. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, Mushroom, you got the best name ever now. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> nice. 
<laughs> I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. <laughs> Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short. I come from a family with money, but no soul. I took off after school and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protest, try to make some positive change. Yeah, whatever. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. So, how do you make money? <laughs> Spoken like a real American. <laughs> Just curious. Now that we're urban nomads too, if you have any tips. I sell shit. Like a good capitalist. Stories when I can. eBay when I can't. My biggest expense is gas and food, so it's easy. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, I'd be like my family. End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah, and feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Traveling by night is kind of mysterious. Man, look at that. Oregon is like the edge of the world. Hmm. Hey, listen. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call, no pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was the police. It's their fault. Dano just wanted to play zombie outside. Our shithead neighbor was picking on him. And I got in a fight. So Dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops in, and they shot him. They killed my dad in front of me. One second my dad was alive. Then... 
Fucking cops. Hey, it's gonna be all right. Take a deep breath. And I didn't even get to hug my dad the last time I saw him. Listen, I'm really sorry this happened to you, man. Injustice is everywhere, and you're taking the brunt of it right now. But you're gonna be okay, Sean. How? Wish I could go back to my town. Even if it was boring like that one. At least I've had friends. Family. A home. I used to bitch about it so much. Now I've got... Nothing. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I can't. Isn't it better if he doesn't know? If I found out, he's gonna find out. Better he hears it from you. I wish I could change everything back. So none of it ever happened. I... I just don't know what to say. But I'll try. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was thinking, get out of the country, fuck it, go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn, I thought I was the long haul traveler. <sighs> Maybe this is crazy, but should we just keep going till we get to Mexico? If you think that's the right thing to do, yes. This is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. You have family there? <sighs> Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No. No way. She's... out of the picture. But Dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay. So you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. Listen, I'll drop you by a motel in a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves. Okay, Mushroom, you can chase me. Then, Sean. Um, <laughs> uh, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! <laughs> hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. <laughs> okay, here. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. You go for it. 
Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, Mushroom. Come on. Look, it's a stick. Fetch. Come on, Mushroom. Get that stick. Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It's right there, room 10. On the second floor. Listen, I don't want to freak you out, okay? But... You have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Okay. You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody, to... You're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean... Ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay. You win. Thanks, Brody. Feels good. Here. Looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official dart dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. <laughs> Wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. <sighs> Sorry, Elf. Probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. Okay. Time to hit the sack. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. <laughs> Ooh! Check it out! It even has a bathtub! <laughs> Good. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV, too! And there's a balcony! Whoa, this is nice. And warm. This bed is soft. What about this one? Uh, not bad. But too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Want to play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, but ready? I am so ready to beat you. Aw, shoot. I told you, man. Can we play another round? Come on. Sure, I mean, you're gonna lose again, but suit yourself. Not this time. I won! <laughs> the pet is mine! I knew I'd beat you. See? And I knew you'd brag about it. Don't be salty. It's a fair win. Yeah, it is. 
I surrender. All right, I'm gonna run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you, Pidpen. I wouldn't be so sure, cave boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Hey, can you turn that down, please? Aww. It's nice out here. Wish I cared. Puerto Lobos, Mexico. Can I get us this far? And safe? How can we get there without money? And Daniel still doesn't know what really happened. How the fuck am I gonna tell him? Me and Daniel just have to take it one step at a time. that? Uh, it was in Brody's tar. He gave it to you. Uh, well, uh, yeah. You stole it from him? I don't know. It looked cool and you stole before, so I thought... <sighs> no, man. Stealing is bad. We only do it if we really need it, okay? Plus, Brody was super nice with us. If it's bad, then why did you do it? Hey, we had to. It, it was different. I don't want you stealing around, understand? So, what's up? The buns want to catch Hot Dog Man and turn him into sausage meat. Oh yeah. The giant meatball attacks in the next episode, right? Yes. And they get to meet the city mayo. Man, it's been ages. Why don't you watch Hot Dog Man with me anymore? I'm too old, dude. And I've seen it so many times. <laughs> okay, Grandpa Sean. Feels so good to sit down and watch TV. <laughs> True. Okay, I'm done here. You're missing the best part. I know, but I gotta take care of the bath. Don't forget you're up soon. I know. Daniel, you have towels in the bathroom. Don't forget to yeah, use them. Yeah, yeah. Ah, damn. That fucking redneck hit me hard. I hit him harder, though. Daniel will love this. You ready? Aw, the episode's almost finished. Nice try. The water's hot. Come on. Yeah, okay, I'm going. Oh my god! Whoa! So many bubbles. Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will. Promise. Thanks. And no, the dog is not taking a bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. 
Hey, dude. Everything okay in there? Be careful, she doesn't need any soap. No, no. She's sitting by the tub. I need mushrooms. Woo! Time to say goodbye to modern life. Lily's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this, or she'll get into trouble too. Sean? Hey, Lila. Sean, is that you? Do you... Sean! Oh, God. Are you okay? I guess. I'm... I'm in a motel. With Daniel. <laughs> Shit! Everyone's looking for you here. How about you? Are you okay? No. Everything's fucked up. I'm so worried about you. The cops are talking to everybody at school. This is a nightmare. We're fucked. Sean, don't say that. It will be okay. I miss you so much. Maybe you could come back. You know I wish I could, but we can't take that risk. They're gonna put me in juvie. Daniel. Bullshit. You're innocent. And I've got your back. No matter what. No way. I'm not gonna let you get in trouble for me. Stop acting like I'm never gonna see you again. That's bullshit. I'm sorry. I totally hate this. There won't be any dirty Mexican and Asian chick gathering. For a while. Shit actually changes, I guess. So, where are you going? Um, we're just going away for now. I'll call you if I get a chance. I miss you, Lila. Sean. Start. I was the dodgeball champ of my high school. So duck!
We haven't played Guitar Fighter for years. You never my score. <laughs> you played on easy mode. I was on hardcore. You're dude. so jealous. I'm the best guitar player. Daniel, uh, come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a Coke. Or something. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? Sorry. I just... Just don't lie to me ever again. Ever. I promise I won't lie to you again. I promise. I'm serious, Sean. I know. Me too, Danny. What are we gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Sean. Am I a monster? Nothing is wrong with you. You're different. Okay. What are we gonna do now? I was thinking maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos where dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do, as long as we're together. Can you tell me a story, like he did? I'm not as good as him. 
He used to tell me bedtime stories, too. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together. were alone and they had to find a new home they started a journey Come on, man. Focus. Okay. Trust me. You can do it. 